to get the cheapest FIFA coins on the internet, make sure to go and check out Mule Factory. I've left a link in the description and a discount code as well. You can get 100,000 FIFA coins for just eight pounds. Eight quid. Eight, eight quid for 100,000 FIFA coins. Go and check them out. They're 100% reliable. I've used them so, so much. Make sure to use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout and let's get into the video. Oh yeah, that's that. Good shit. Just before we get into this video, if you do want to win yourself some FIFA points, specifically 2,200 FIFA points, all you guys need to do, like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, follow all my socials, but the main thing is, like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and you could be in with a chance of winning that 2,200 FIFA points. There's going to be a winner announced next Friday, so you've not got long. So, get your entries in, and let's get into this video. Oh, what is going on guys? Ellie 96 and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make some more coins in FIFA 20. Today is the best day to make coins in FIFA 20, because it's Thursday, rewards day. I'm going to show you guys a load of plays, so you can go and snipe right now, and you could potentially be making yourself 100,000 coins today, just by sniping a couple of players. And you can do this every single Thursday as well, and I normally make videos every Thursday showing you how to do it, so... You may as well subscribe to the channel, baby. Starting off this video, though, I am going to be opening a Prime Gold Players Pack, which I did actually get from completing some objectives for the seasons. Or, you know the seasons where you basically go through and it'll give you cards for doing it. This this is what I got. This is what I got. Please. Please give me something decent in the future here. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> However, lads, it is rewards day, so that means that we have got everybody opening rewards in FIFA 20 from Division Rivals and Foot Champs, as far as I'm aware, as well. Basically, there's going to be loads of cards going onto the market, so basically what we can do right now is go through and do some sniping. So I'm going to show you guys the first play that I would actually recommend for you guys to snipe, and it is going to be Kevin Lasagna. Now, Kevin Lasagna only has one special card in FIFA 20, and it is going to be his Foot Birthday card, which is currently in pack. So a lot of people are able to pack this card right now. As you can see, Lasagna on the market right now is actually going for around 155k now i know that it is a bit expensive for some of you guys i completely get that but recently i've had so many people saying can you do high budget methods can you show us players who we can snipe are a bit more expensive and kevin lasagna is a perfect perfect option for that now what i want to do in this video is basically go through and see if i can actually see any kevin lasagnas and see if i can get them on a snipe as you can see in the top left i've got 145k to play with right now so now i'm going to go through and try and get myself a snipe with this lasagna I'm honestly not too sure what to expect. Oh my god! <laughs> you are joking me. We've just missed out at one. It can. 130,000 coins. We could have been making like 10k profit on that. I'm not giving up this soon though, but this is what I'm talking about. Look how many searches that took me. 98 searches just to see a card which is 20,000 coins under. Honestly. Thursday is always the best day for trading. I don't know how many times I need to say it. it's always the best day for trading because so many people are getting new players in packs or maybe they're trying players out who they've got in the packs and they realize that they're just not that good and they want to sell them on really quickly or whatever it may be. Honestly, you can make so many coins by sniping high ticket players every single Thursday. I do want to go through though and get this guy on a snipe if I can do. I just want to double check his price to see if he still is going for 150k, which he is doing. That means if I snipe at 140, I will be making two and a half thousand coins per card, which isn't too bad. It is a lot of coins to risk for that, but there's always the opportunity of that card popping up for lower like it did do just then at 130k. What do you... 130k? Really? What? There we go! We've managed to get one at 140k and we can insta sell this on for around 151k which should make us around 3450 coins just off one player which really really isn't too bad at all like i said let's go and try him out go and try and do some sniping with it you're not going to be getting every single card that pops up it just doesn't work like that but i've managed to get myself a kevin lasagna he does have himself a chem style on him as well we got 140 we'll sell him on 151 and that's just the 
best thing about rewards day you can always get sick deals like that and if we just jump over here let's see if he sells on and there you go he sold on pretty much instantly nice one let's get into the next player so next up lads we're going to be going for someone called Eggstein. I think that's how you pronounce his name or Eggstein. not too sure but he only has a foot birthday card as a special card and right now on the market he is actually going for around 50,000 coins so what I want to do first off is see how much he's going for okay the flipping price was wrong brilliant but as you can see right here, he's actually going for around 54,000 coins, which actually is a pretty decent price. It's a price which you guys could easily jump on. It does actually look like his price is going up ever so slightly. So he's insta-selling right now at around 52k. So to make profit at 52k, I reckon that we'd have to buy at around 48k. So if we bought at 48k and sold on at 52k, we'd be making 1,800 coins per card that we got. And as you can see, he does actually seem to be popping up at different prices, around 50,000 coins, which... I did see a minute ago, but it looks like that that's gone now, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing as what I was doing before. I'm just going to sit here and do some sniping, and hopefully I will be able to see a card pretty soon. Please go and try and snipe some of these cards. You've got lasagna from before, you've got Eggstein now, and there's going to be even more cards in this video as well who I want to show you guys to snipe. So let's jump into a snipe of Eggstein, and hopefully I'll be making myself a pretty decent amount of profit, and hopefully I don't get kicked off the market, which would not be ideal at all. And there we go, we've managed to get one now. Please bear with me, please, please bear with me. What happened was, I got kicked off, then I couldn't get back on the market. I've been and played a game. If you take a look in the top left, you will see on my record that I got a win because I'm sick at FIFA. But we've actually managed to get ourselves an egg steam right now, who is going on the market right now for 54k. I do want to show you guys him going for 54k. 42 minutes. He may even go for around 53,500 at the minute. However, we've got him for 50k. We can list him up at 54 and hopefully manage to get a sell on. But I want to jump into the next foot birthday player who you guys can go and snipe. So... Let's jump into it. Just before we do though, I am going to list up this Eggstein and for the sake of this video, I'm just going to go for 53,500. I think that I should make around 800-ish coins. So we've got him listed up and we will be making a profit of around 825 coins on this one. It's not the best profit in the world, don't get me wrong. However, he pops up quite a lot. He's just a good card to snipe anyway. Let's get into the next one. Last player from the foot birthday batch 2 who you can go and snipe right now is going to be Lamar. Now, I don't mean Kendrick. I mean Thomas. On the market right now, Lamar is going for around 120... Hello? As I was saying though, he is going for around 125k on the market. As I was saying, he's going for 125k on the market right now, roughly. I don't know if that's a deal or not. Oh, I bet it is. I bet it is. I bet it is. So let's take a look to see what his minimum price is on the market right now. As you can see, it looks like that he is insta selling for probably around 127k, if I had to guess. Yeah, 127k is insta selling at. There's one there at 123, which I'm not going to be going for. So to make a decent profit on this card, roughly, I will need to be sniping at around 119, 118k. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to do the exact same thing as what I've been doing. I want to show you guys how good these cards are to snipe, how often that they pop up and the deals that can be had as well. So I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to set this price to 117k and I'm going to begin to snipe. Wish me luck. Uh, I think that's a good deal. I've not a clue what's happened to these cards. What? What? I had to go and restart foot, but hear me out, right? This Lamar right here, I've managed to get 119k, but if you take a look at the chem style that he's got on him, he's actually got a maestro chem style on him. And that maestro chem style actually takes him to an overall rating of 93. And if you go over to his attributes as well, it's not showing it, but it increases a lot of his individual attributes as well. So what I want to do, I want to jump back over to the market and I want to see how much he's going for with a maestro on him. Now, I'm honestly not too sure how much he could... We could be making quite a lot here. We genuinely could be making quite a lot. So I'm going to go special. I'm going to go min by now, set that to 10 to 50. Max by now is going to be 140k. Then I'm going to come over here and set this to maestro. Let's just take a look. Please be going for something decent. 141k. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So he's going right now at 138k. We got ours at 119. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to sell mine on at 132,000 coins. And we should be making a couple of k off that as well. So at 132k, this guy will actually make us 6,400 coins profit, which 
in my opinion, I think that's actually pretty decent. So let's get that listed up. Hopefully it will sell on as well. I think he's actually got, yeah, he's got decent contracts on him. He's got full fitness as well. It really shouldn't struggle selling on. Fingers crossed. I know for a fact though that you guys are wanting some Team of the Week moments cards, the guys who probably don't have as many coins as this. And I've got one player from this current Team of the Week who you have to go and snipe. And it is going to be Paul Lopez Sabata. Apparently, that's his full name. So I'm just going to type in Lopez right here. I've got a very funny feeling that he won't pop up, but he's right there. Lovely. So we're going to go over to Special. And right now on the market, he is going for 18,500 coins, according to Footbin. But when I've actually come over here to take a look, he is actually going for the tiniest bit more at 19,750. There's one there at 19,000 coins, and that one's actually gone. Okay, so with this one, I'm probably going to go and try and snipe it around 18,000 coins. He actually looks like a pretty decent goalkeeper as well, but to be honest, I just think he's a perfect, perfect card to snipe. He's 85 rated, he's at a good price as well. He's part of the Team of the Week moments for this week, and he pops up pretty quickly at 17,500 coins, and I missed out. Sick. Oh, pops up again. <laughs> he literally popped up straight away afterwards at 17,000 coins, and... I missed out. I missed out. There we go. We've managed to get one at 18750 Now, it's a bit more than I, what I wanted to pay, but I just want to say one thing. This guy is an absolute gold mine. He pops up so, so much. Out of every player that I've sniped today, this guy's popped up so, so much. The problem with it is he goes so, so quickly. Now, when I started this, you could actually pick him up normally at around 19,250, 19,500. But if I go over here now, there's nothing on the transfer market. And even if I go up to 2,250 right now, these are getting bought up really, really quickly. So what I'm actually going to do is list this up the tiniest bit more expensive and hopefully it will actually sell on. And with us getting at 18,750, we've actually got some really, really, really nice profit there because we could potentially be selling it on for 2500 maybe even as much as 21k if i'll just wait the tiniest bit longer which to be honest i think i'm probably going to do but i've give you guys three foot birthday plays that you can go and snipe and make coins on and i'll give you one team of the week's moment card who is perfect to snipe go and try all of them out i guarantee you guys that you'll be making yourself a hundred thousand coins you could even be making yourself a million coins just in a couple of days from sniping a few of these players. So make sure to go and try it out. Well, guys, that's where I'm going to be wrapping up this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like on this video. Comment down below if you need any help with anything. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Go and follow all my socials. There are links in the description. Go and follow my Instagram. Go and follow my Twitter. I'm active on both of them. Instagram's a bit more jokey. And I don't really do anything really to do with FIFA on my stories. But Twitter's a bit different. But whatever. Go and follow them. You can... Find out for yourselves. But this Betty Six, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As well, if you're free tomorrow at half 12, I'm representing Wigan Athletic against QPR. So make sure to go and check out QPR's Facebook page. I'll leave a link to that in the description so you can go and watch me play as Wigan in FIFA 20. Just realised I'm using the wrong cam for my outro. But this Betty Six, and I am off. Goodbye.